what is raiding of reserves? Mr. Chairman, the PAP government and some of its MPs like to invoke the claim of raiding of reserves to attack alternative policy ideas and proposals put up by the opposition. In order to have a more productive debate in this House, it will be helpful to have an understanding of what constitutes raiding of reserves. I would like to suggest two criteria to assess any new proposal that might affect the reserves. Firstly, the amount of expenditure required for the new proposal relative to the size of the reserves and net investment return. And secondly, the purpose of the expenditure. Any proposal that passes these two criteria, where the amount involved is small relative to the reserves or even the net investment return, and serve an important purpose, should not be accused of raiding the reserves. Let me illustrate the two criteria using the affordable home scheme, which the Progress Singapore Party, PSP, recommended during the recent public housing motion on February the 7th. During the debate, I explained that the affordable home scheme will only defer the accumulation of reserves because the deferred land cost will be collected when the flat is sold in the future. And even if the whole deferred land cost of about $3 billion per year is not collectible, it is only 6.4% of the net investment return and 12.8% of the net investment return contribution. We do not even need to use our reserves. So we have passed criteria one comfortably. For criteria two, the money is to be spent on an important and noble purpose, which is to make the HDB flat affordable and accessible for every Singaporean of each generation. It will allow Singaporeans to retire comfortably without having to sell his flat or downgrade. The financial security accorded is expected to unleash the innovative and entrepreneurial spirit in the Singaporeans, and we will be able to better compete with the rest of the world. So we also passed criteria two. Hence, based on the two criteria above, the affordable home scheme is an example of an alternative policy that does not constitute a rating of reserves according to my definition. I hope to hear from the minister what does he think. In the future, from my point of view, if the government makes such accu accusations again, I will call them baseless allegations. Singaporeans deserve better for country, for people.